Hello and welcome to the episode 260 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. The continuation of the first residence in Hamburg, a record-breaking appearance, and the recording session are the highlights of today's show. On the 17th of September 1960, the Beatles, featuring Pete Bass on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass, performed another six hours at the Indra Club in Hamburg, West Germany, for their first residency in town. In 1961, the Beatles, now with Paul McCartney on bass, performed for the tenth time in their career at the Hambleton Hall in Liverpool. Two engagements in 1962. After their usual two-hour lunchtime concert at the Cavern Club in Liverpool, the Beatles had their third and last engagement at the Queen's Hall in Witness, promoted once again by their manager Brian Epstein's new company NAMS Enterprises. In 1964, the Beatles played a concert that was not meant to be. A live appearance at the Municipal Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. This was the famous unscheduled extra show that earned the Fabs $150,000, about $1,254,000 in 2020 money, scheduled in one of the few days off in their hectic 1964 North American tour due to the insistences of millionaire Charles O. Finlay. It was the highest payment for live performance at the time. In order to celebrate Kansas City and ingratiate the public, the Beatles decided to include their Kansas City Hey 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 medley in the song list for the concert. But they really didn't need it. While the event wasn't sold out, the public was delirious, and for the second time in three days, the concert had to be stopped, only to be resumed after the audience had calmed down a little under threat of cancellation. In fact, according to Beatlesbible.com, the empty seats were mostly due to the bad feelings that the locals had towards Finley and the very high price of the ticket, the highest in the whole 1964 tour. This podcast instead has the lowest entrance ticket you can think of. It's free, as you can tell. Having said that, there's a lot you can do to support me. Visit www.simonmas.com support and find out all about it. Any donation is welcomed. Or perhaps you fancy acquiring the extended version of the show with more information and curiosities about the four you love? Check out the possibilities and thank you for showing me your love. On the 17th of September 1968, we have another date at the EMI Studios in Abbey Road. The compilation of the title line tape, with a taped copy of every Beatles song title sung by the band, started on the previous day, was continued today with the taping of 27 more song titles. Later on, during the 7 pm to 5 am session, further work on I Will was done with Paul overdubbing a backing vocal, a vocal line singing a bass part, a second acoustic guitar track, and some maracas. In addition, the mono mix of Helter Skelter was also completed today. The mix lasted 3 minutes and 36 seconds, effectively fading out the song about one minute before the stereo mix, editing out Ringo's famous I've got blisters on my fingers shout at the end of the song. Before the end of the session, Cry Baby Cry was also copied on the new 8-track tape machine. And with this, we can close this episode. Tomorrow we'll see how the filming of Magical Mystery Tour continued. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.